So um, I'm at the vicarage today and you've reached a point which you probably have yourself when it is the time to unstack the dishwasher, which for me happens on most days. And uh, what should happen, I'm about to give you my confession, what should happen is that I should just happily get on with unstacking the dishwasher because it needs to be unstacked. But even as I'm doing it, I'll tell you what's in my head. What's in my head is like, why am I unstacking the dishwasher again? Um, there are five people in this household, there's two adults, why, why is it always me? And if I'm not careful, this can become a bit of a thing. And I get a bit of a martyr complex about, you know, well, why am I doing this all the time? I'll just shut that. Because I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I'm doing this all the time. And I draw up a sort of competitive set of self-righteousness. And what I mean by that is that I will analyse my behaviour inside the competitive set in which I excel. So like take a, a house, you know, okay, there's a stack in a dishwasher, there's doing the laundry, there's working out the kids' uniform, there's checking the heating, there's paying the bills, there's sorting out the light switches, there's taking the bins out. There are a million things to make a household go work right. So even if I am doing more than my fair share of unstacking a dishwasher, there are about 58 things where I'm not doing a fair share. But humans, we tend to think that we are pretty remarkable givers and that other people are taking, but we are giving. And one of the things Jesus is big on is saying, no, no, no. No, you, you're blessed with what you have. Remember that you're not a perfect person and just forgive other people. And there's this funny parable which we're going to deal with briefly about the uh, unjust steward. And in this parable, what happens? Jesus uh, describes there was a, a man who, who calls a de uh, a, his slave to, 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 to take in his debts, which are like a lot, I think it's like a thousand talents, which is loads of money. And the, the guy says, oh, look, I just can't pay. You know, I just can't pay that. Um, so the master says, OK, I understand you can't pay. Um, or we'll just have to work together on it. And then, presumably, the guy breathes a sigh of relief. But whether he's under stress or for whatever reason, he goes out and he finds some other people who owe him money. He says, look, you owe me some money. And they say, oh, I'm really sorry, I can't pay. He says, no way, you're going to pay me. And he gets, he gets all heavy and mafia on them. And then he gets called back and says, the master said, what's this I hear? That, you know, I forgave you your debt but you don't seem to be forgiving other people their debts. Why is that? You know, and that actually is a really shocking thing, because you're going to get tortured for this. I don't think Jesus is into torturing um, <laughs> or anything like that. It comes back to the, the same line from the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and it's linked. And as long as you remember you're an imperfect person, God can do the rest. But the moment you start getting self-righteous about the most remarkable things, no, that can be a real problem. You've got to remember, you know, we're just a bunch of imperfect people. And by the way, for sure, I, I've got to be a bit careful you know, on a gender. Um, I'm talking as a man, you know, if you just talk about household chores, there's loads of studies about how much more women do compared with men. So, you know, I don't want to diminish that. But I know, even as a man, when I'm doing a little, I think, oh, oh this is really... I'm doing an awful lot when I'm just doing like tiny things. I don't think that way. I tend to think that I'm a, a big giver and that actually I'm taking as much or more as everybody else. And God's all right with that as long as we don't get up ourselves. And if you recognise that you're imperfect, it's a lot easier to forgive other people. And that, I think, is the essence of the parable. Forgive other people because you yourself know you need forgiveness.